Hi guys, it's Ariel. Sorry about the weird angle today. I was, I'm filming in f on my stove because I'm showing you guys how to infuse vinegar in a week or less and it requires heating and I don't have a tripod for my camera so that means that you guys are at weird angles this year so because I'm on my no buy year I can't buy a tripod it's an unnecessary purchase I can do without I can either hopefully get one as a gift this year or maybe trade someone for one or maybe I don't know I don't know anything but buy it I can do anything but buy it okay so let's talk about vinegar and why we would infuse vinegar and what we're going to use it for so this is our weekly challenge video so if you want to become more low waste this would be something that you would do I use vinegar for cleaning literally everything. If it can't be cleaned using vinegar, baking soda, or my, my bar dish soap. That is what I use, those three things, vinegar, baking soda, and bar dish soap. If it can't be used, if I can't clean it with one of those things, then I'm screwed because I don't have anything else. And to be honest, I haven't needed anything else. I have made do with all of, with all three of those things. I still do have some industrial cleaner that my husband got. I also have some toilet bowl cleaner that my husband got that I did not purchase and I do not agree with. So I don't use, I use vinegar and baking soda to clean my toilet. What do I use vinegar to clean? I use it to clean my toilet. I sanitize my toilet and I also I use baking soda on the inside to scrub it out if it gets real gross but I'll just use vinegar weekly to sanitize it. I uh, use it on my windows, I use it on my microwave, I use it on my appliances, I use it on my dishwasher to clean my dishwasher out, I use it on stains on the floor. If I can't get a stain out with baking soda or vinegar then I will go get LA is awesome from the dollar store because that stuff works like magic to get stuff out, but I try really, really hard not to have a bottle of that on hand. And I sanitize anything that I need, that needs sanitizing with vinegar. So my daughter's high chair tray, like the countertops, I sanitize literally everything with it. And I clean literally everything with it. Little trick, you can put vinegar in a bowl of water in your microwave for like five minutes and it steams everything up and you can clean it out really easily. These things first, do not mix vinegar with soap. It breaks down the soap and it may not seem like it but it is actually breaking down the soap. You don't want to mix vinegar and soap. If you mix it, you're just going to have a nasty mess on your hand eventually. I haven't had it happen to me yet because before I stopped using soap in mine, but I know it happens. So I just stopped using soap in my vinegar and I haven't noticed a difference in cleansing power. And so I just stopped wasting my money getting dish soap and I started using just straight, or vinegar and water, I should say, because I mix it 50-50. And I also don't mix it with baking soda because even though it makes, it foams, it just turns into water. So that doesn't actually do any cleaning. So there's really no reason for you to mix baking soda and water ever unless you're just doing a fun experiment with your kids. So I, I never mix it and you can, when you put it down your drain and you mix vinegar and baking soda, it literally does nothing. You're better off just dumping hot water and vinegar down the drain than you would be dumping vinegar and baking soda. Alright, how to make infused vinegar in less than a week. So, I have a pot here on my stove heating up. Uh, we'll add the vinegar, which I use mason jars to infuse my vinegar. So, I just pour the vinegar into my mason jar. 
which we'll talk about this in a second. And that's how I measure out how much vinegar I need is how many vinegar infusions I'm doing. And I'm doing two today. So I will pour two jars of vinegar into my saucepan. I was hoping I'd be able to get the whole stove into the the video, but unfortunately I dropped my phone behind the stove and had to pull my whole stove out in order to get to where we're at now, so unfortunately that's not going to work. So I apologize so much about the crappy filming in this. If someone wants to send me a tripod, <laughs> I would love that. If not, I'll get one. We'll make it work. So I did leave a little less in the second one because we are adding infusions into the vinegar. And then I take my infusion of what I'm doing this week. This week is orange peels. And I'm also going to do clove. So I'll put that's a good amount, like that much orange peels in there, which is like two oranges. And then I got bulk clove. And you have to use the whole clove because if you don't use the whole pieces, then you're just going to have a powdery mess on your hand. So you're going to want to use whole pieces of herbs or spices, not powders. So I put the clove and the orange in one jar, and I'm going to go ahead and do that for the second jar. Some ideas for infusion would be any citrus fruit, lemons, limes, grapefruit, oranges, I don't think, uh, tangelellos, you could do that. Basically any citrus fruit, you can use the, you can use the peel and the pulp of any citrus fruit. You could do apples, I suppose, but you can just make apple cider vinegar out of scraps of apples, so that's what I would do. You can also use herbs from your herb garden. Things like rosemary, sage, mint. You could do basil, ginger. Any any herbs. I would just I would use whole pieces of herbs, no no dried pieces or well you could use dried pieces, but don't use pieces, little tiny I don't know what that called. Flakes, little flakes, herb flakes. So I have more orange peels here. I used a little bit oranges, so I have to add more peels this time. But I have enough to do another jar, but this jar is cold, so I'm actually going to just throw this back in the freezer. Because if I put hot vinegar in this, this is going to crack. So I'm just going to throw my clove and my orange in this one too. I did make some cinnamon and clove vinegar and it smelled like cinnamon it didn't smell much like clove so i'm trying it with a less intense or er, er, smell not herb but a less intense smell the cinnamon one is amazing it smells just like cinnamon and very very lightly of vinegar but barely like vinegar at all i also made a lavender one and it smells pretty good, but it doesn't smell perfectly like lavender like I would like it to. It still smells quite a bit like vinegar. So it smells kind of like vinegar, but a little bit like a floral scent. Not as much as I would like it to be lavender, unfortunately. So I might experiment with some homegrown lavender that I got for Christmas for my husband. But who knows? Okay, while this is finishing boiling, let's talk about why I buy my vinegar in plastic. You might be thinking, Ariel, you hate plastic. You absolutely despise plastic. It's my least favorite thing on the planet, and yet here I am buying my vinegar in plastic. I did not talk about this in my bulk video, which I should have, and I completely spaced it and I feel like an idiot for not talking about it. 
But if you cannot buy your stuff in bulk, if you cannot afford to buy it in bulk, if you do not have a bulk location in your city, then you can buy your things in larger quantity bulk. So from Costco. I buy two of these from Costco, which is the largest I've been able to find for just a couple of dollars. You see that? That's what we want. So I do buy my vinegar in plastic and I do buy some things in plastic. And it's all about making the compromises in your life to get where you need to be going with your low waste. So unfortunately I can't get vinegar in bulk from my bulk store. And even if I could, I think it might be too expensive for me to be able to afford. I need a lot of vinegar in my life and so $4 for two of these is what I personally can afford right now for my cleaning supplies. And even though I am trying to make my own apple cider vinegar, it's a long process and I am not using enough apples to make it work out perfectly for me. So, and it's also a 50-50 whether or not it ferments or molds. So I am wasting still a ton of stuff that's just going straight into my compost because it doesn't, it doesn't ferment, unfortunately. So that's why I buy my vinegar in plastic and why you shouldn't feel guilty about buying your rice in, in large quantity bags or why you shouldn't feel guilty about buying your your vinegar in plastic or why you shouldn't feel guilty about buying certain things in plastic because a affordability and b we have to make compromises in our life and it's all about privilege and sometimes we just don't have that privilege in our life so the vinegar is done heating you can see it's still kind of going i'm going to go ahead and just pour this straight over make a huge mess I am making a huge huge mess you guys pour this straight over my clove and my orange at least my stove's going to be clean now that I've dumped vinegar all over it right side alright and then you just put your lids back on. They're going to actually seal like they would if they were canning. I just leave them here on the stove to cool down. You're going to see them start to change colors. Let them cool down. Leave them in the jar for a week. It'll be sealed off like, a, like I said like a canner and then you'll pop it open after a week and it'll smell amazing. I've heard of people reusing the peels a couple of times. I'm going to do that with my cinnamon stick and I'm going to try it with these ones. I haven't tried it yet because I didn't think about it. So this one I will let you guys know how it goes. I'll give you an update but this is how I make my vinegar in less than a week and or a week or less I should say and it smells incredible it smells amazing it is one of my favorite products to clean with and I highly recommend making the switch over to infused vinegar because my house is healthier we get sick less I've noticed that a lot my husband's getting sick less which he was getting sick a lot my baby is getting sick less and she was getting sick like she was starting to get sick every three or four months and now she's been less than that and my oldest daughter doesn't get sick all that often but she hasn't been sick since I started using the vinegar so correlation causation maybe who knows I don't but I would like to think that it is because I'm using a natural earth alternative to those chemicals that are just terrible for us so that's the end of the video. That's all you guys need to know about infusing vinegar. Try it out. Use it on your household stuff. See what you think. Tell me what you guys think in the comments. Let me know if you have any ideas for weekly challenges that you would like to see happen because I'm always looking for new ideas. I am trying to 
incorporate the ideas that I already have in my life, but I'd also like to hear what you guys do in your lives, so maybe I can incorporate them too. And don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to add me on, on Instagram, eco underscore Ariel, and join my Facebook group, Journey to Low Waste and Sustainability. So just remember to be kind to yourself, and we'll see you next time.